That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I bricked my Steam Deck because I tried to put windows on it. Yes, there's a towel on the back of my chair because my towel's peeling more than a girl who just turned into a teenager. Let's dive on into it, shall we? What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your host with the most Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so that we can maybe one day trade in our bricked steam deck for one that actually works so this is going to be a bit of a different video from what i usually make don't worry i'm going to be posting some Yu-Gi-Oh content uh later today so you know don't unsub thinking i'm suddenly not posting Yu-Gi-Oh content uh this is honestly meant more for the people who subscribed and made my youtube short blow up to thousands of views almost twelve thousand views now on my do not put windows on steam deck video now in that video i talked about how I put, if I could find them here, it was like four USB sticks I had attempted to use and go out to Walmart like seven times, spent eight hours out of like, I think it was on like a Sunday to put windows on my Steam Deck just to have the damn thing brick. So for those of you who don't know, maybe you don't keep up with gaming or something, because I know some of my subscribers are confused. Uh, the Steam Deck is basically like a Nintendo Switch, but it's put out by Valve. Um, this is meant to like have PC gaming on the go. So, you know, I can play Celeste while taking a dump or something like that. <laughs> and um, one of the things that Valve did with the Steam Deck, if I can get the glare out of the way, is that they made it very customizable, meaning that you can put uh, Linux on here, you can put Windows on here. Um, you know, I can surf the web while I'm taking a dump, I guess, I don't know, something that you can't do on the Switch. <laughs> um, you can put emulators on here. Like it, this can be an all-in-one PC on the go. So for eight hours, I had tried to uh, put Windows on here, going out to Walmart, buying more USB sticks, realizing I needed more, went out and got a uh, SD card just to have this thing brick on me. Now, if you watch the YouTube short, you'll know that I was like, do not put Windows on Steam Deck. It's not worth it. I'm doing a re-imaging right now. So let me go ahead and pick up from what happened with the re-imaging. So I did the re-imaging and the screen came on like it was doing an update, like the little logo, and then it went black. So I was like, okay, let me plug it in and let it charge. And as it charged, I was trying to click on the power button and it would not turn on. It would show the logo and then it would power back off. I'm like, you know what? Let me just charge it for 24 hours. Charge it for 24 hours, try it again, same thing. It showed the logo and it powered off. I tried doing a uh, another re-imaging. I can't even load it up into the boot menu anymore. Um, so I have no idea what to do at this point. Maybe I need to go give this to Joey from DK Oli's. Maybe he can fix it. <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, I just, I totally bricked this fucking thing. And it's been like this for months now. I've tried contacting Valve and from what I've been able to find online and waiting to hear back from them and uh, well, not even waiting here back because I did hear back from them and they basically said that like since I bricked it There's not much that they can do and that they would get back to me and see what they could do. Haven't heard back um, Yeah, so I'm thinking that I kind of I guess blew the warranty on this thing or whatever warranty was on here On my fucking Christmas gift of a steam deck because my dumbass tried to put windows on it And it's not like I, I, I want to make it clear too. like it's not like I'm PC illiterate, right? Like I, I know my way around a PC fairly well um, Like I've worked on my friends PCs to try and you know fix things on there and stuff like that And this steam deck I tried for eight hours to get windows on it and right when I was finishing up the installation is when it bricked on me So I, I don't know what happened. I do have the uh, cheapest model um, so like the, the lowest amount of gigabytes that are on it, I do have that model. I don't know if maybe that's what caused it to brick. Um, and the other thing that I want to address as well is also the fact, the reason why I turned off the comments on the video. Uh, the reason why I turned off the comments on the YouTube short was because I was getting a lot of uh, threats made against me uh, over a fucking Steam Deck, which surprises me. I mean, I've had threats made against me in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, you know, like wanting to come harm me and things like that come to my house. But I mean, this was a whole nother level. Um, so I did end up turning off the comments for that reason in case you didn't read the description and uh, you were wondering why the comments were turned off. That is why I turned off the comments because I'm not gonna let, you know, some random idiot, some, some random ass gypsy on the internet, you know, threaten me, you know, all because I'm talking about why, in my opinion, you shouldn't be putting Windows on your fucking Steam Deck. But 
I guess people just have to have a hair up their ass about something. So if that is the case on this video, I will once again disable comments and update the description to explain why that was the case. But if you, you know, see the comments disabled at the point that you watch this video, whether the video has been up a week, a month, a year, five years, whatever, that's why I'm not going to let people, you know, threaten my life over a fucking piece of plastic. Like, hello. So I don't know. People got mental issues, I guess. Um, but I did want to do a follow-up to this and explain what it is that happened. Um, all of the buttons still work. Um, all of this works, like everything clicks, everything goes. The only thing that doesn't work is, I guess, just the power button. I go to click it, it, it powers on, shows the logo. It's probably dead at this point, so it won't even show the logo. Um, yeah, I've just, I've done everything I can to try and get this thing to work and it is what it is. So as I said in that video, do not put Windows on Steam Deck. It's not goddamn worth it. Maybe Linus Tech Tips or something can help me out. Review Tech USA. Joey from DK Oldies. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe I need to take this shit to Best Buy. I don't know. But I just want to make this follow-up video letting you all know that this was my experience. Let me know down in the comments if you've had any issues. Um, or just, you know, try a YouTube tutorial and maybe you'll have better luck than I will. But I'm not going to tolerate people, you know, threatening my life in the comments. I am going to, you know, put a lid on that real quick. If I see that again, like in the YouTube short, but if not, then it's all good. Just be kind. Like that's all it's about. I'm just telling you all my experience with it. Relax your anus, relax your holes. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'm going to get back to making some Yu-Gi-Oh content. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.